सो नाउ आवर पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन द स्पेशलाइजेशन इन आई आई टीज वर्सेज अदर कॉलेज ओके इन मास्टर्स इन डिफरेंट स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटीज और कॉलेजेस दे ऑफर यू स्पेशलाइजेशन इन डिफरेंट फील्ड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सच एज यू आर स्पेशलाइज इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इन 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 ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इन फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री वॉट हैपन्स इन दोज केसेस इन द फाइनल सेमिस्टर इन सम यूनिवर्सिटीज इन द फाइनल ईयर दैट मीन्स टू सेमिस्टर यू हैव टू चूज कोर्सेस रिलेटेड टू दैट पर्टिकुलर फील्ड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री ओनली इन द फाइनल ईयर और इन द फाइनल सेमिस्टर इन सम यूनिवर्सिटीज और कॉलेजेस यू हैव टू चूज ओनली ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री कोर्सेस एंड यू हैव टू डू प्रोजेक्ट ऑन दैट सो दे विल प्रोवाइड डिग्री रिटर्न दैट यू आर मास्टर्स और यू आर पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट विथ द स्पेशलाइजेशन इन सपोज ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री मे बी फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री मे बी एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री एट्सेट्रा ओके बट इन आई आई टीज वॉट हैपन दे डू नॉट प्रोवाइड एनी स्पेशलाइजेशन काइंड ऑफ थिंग इन आई आई टीज इन एवरी सेमिस्टर ऑलमोस्ट एवरी सेमिस्टर अपार्ट फ्रॉम सम स्पेसिफाइड कोर्सेस सम कोर्सेस आर फिक्सड दैट यू हैव टू टेक दोज कोर्सेस बट अदर्स आर नॉट फिक्सड You are totally free to opt those courses. You can choose two from organic, two from inorganic, two from physical, two from analytical, two from nano, etc. There are various courses, hundred, two hundred, three hundred plus courses. Okay, so you have to choose from them, and there is no restriction. Suppose in semester two, they have said that uh, they will provide a particular list where suppose seven hundred courses will be enlisted. and you uh, they will instruct you that in this semester you have to choose courses from suppose 600 to 700 so the courses number having 600 or 700 so you have to choose from those only so you are getting 100 plus um, opportunities actually in uh, core course uh, not in core courses but elective courses in elective courses so basically there is no specific restriction in choosing courses for this what happens as you are free to choose any course so iit will not provide you any specialization so in degree of iit in post graduation degree of iit in msc uh it is not written that you are specified or you are uh, uh post graduate with organic special or inorganic special or physical special uh there are some benefit mostly benefit uh, are there because there are many posts many vacancies many recruitments sometimes happen they demand a particular subject but they have to open their portal for those students who have no specific specialization suppose a particular institution is uh, um is declaring a vacancy of some post and they basically requiring the people having physical chemistry specialization but mostly what happens in our country that with the vacancy their demand is physical chemistry special but in the notification generally they write that physical chemistry specialization are eligible as well as those students who are basically uh, not specialized in any particular course okay so they do not discard those people because they are not specialized so they have read maybe all of these things so they are also allowed so uh, door for many exams eligibility for application this broad window opens if you have no specialization specialization means your windows are very limited okay if you are specialized specialized in suppose inorganic chemistry and some institution is declaring vacancy for organic chemistry special plus their notification says that uh, plus those people those candidates who have no specialization where the degree do not mention specialization they can apply so from inorganic specialization you can't apply there so a broad window opens when there is no specific specialization 
if you are specialized then obviously your knowledge may be enriched okay that's a good thing this is a good thing for research etc and uh, specialization in particular field in particular exam there it will be beneficial but otherwise for a broad window it is better uh, that's why maybe iit do not give any specialization so it goes mostly all competitive exams where they mention they they need specialization but their portal remain open for those candidates who have no specialization like people master from iits so these are the basic difference between uh, the specialization in iit versus normal colleges normal generally state colleges or state universities generally provide specialization okay in iits you can uh, choose any subject and you can uh, actually do project in any particular field suppose you are doing project in organic and in your course in your elective courses where you have free choices to select course there you have not taken any course of organic you are taking in organic physical etc it's up to you whatever in whatever topics whatever subjects you are interested in you can freely choose that but in specialization probably this things will not occur so this is the basic difference and some benefit uh, of not having a specialization basically for masters from iits thank you